Right now, beneath the streets of Pozuole, something unprecedented is happening. In the last four days, over 700 earthquakes have ripped through Campi Flegre's fractured crust, not the kind you feel. Not yet. These are micro tremors, shallow jolts barely reaching magnitude 3, but their sheer number tells a different story. The ground is splitting apart faster than scientists have ever recorded. Each quake is a crack forming. Each crack is a pathway. Each crack is a pathway, and pathways beneath an active volcano lead to consequences nobody wants to imagine. Since November 2005, the ground at Rioni Terra in Pozzuoli has risen 157 centimeters NPR. That's the height of an average adult. This year alone, another 20 centimeters pushed upward, the earth is breathing. Slowly, relentlessly, and with every breath, the pressure builds. Families living above this restless caldera wake to the sound of walls cracking. Doors that once closed smoothly now jam in their frames. Ancient cobblestone streets buckle and heave. This isn't a disaster movie. This isn't a disaster movie. This is Tuesday morning in Pozzuoli. But here's what makes this moment different from every other period of unrest. Campi Flegre has experienced in the past four decades. Stanford researchers using artificial intelligence discovered something Italian scientists had never seen so clearly. A complete ring of faults encircling the caldera their AI model quadrupled the earthquake count from 12,000 to over 54. Zero events between 2022 and 2025 three quarters of these quakes were invisible to older monitoring systems. Hidden fractures, silent warnings, all of them carving new weaknesses into rock that has held for centuries. Think about what that means. For years, scientists tracked what they could see. Now they're seeing four times more. And what they're seeing is a volcano systematically dismantling its own containment system from the inside out. On February 15, 2025, at 1653 local time, the latest swarm began nature. Within 72 hours, 556 earthquakes shook the caldera. Two of them reached magnitude 3.9, the strongest felt in months schools in Pozueli closed, so engineers could inspect buildings for structural damage. Parents kept their children home. Emergency shelters opened in town squares. Civil protection volunteers deployed across neighborhoods where balconies lean at angles they didn't yesterday. The data streaming from monitoring stations paints a picture scientists are racing to understand. Since 2021, peculiar burst-like seismic sequences have become increasingly frequent. These aren't normal earthquake swarms. Events happen so rapidly, so close together in time, that seismograms blur them into a single chaotic signal. Flora Judis Pietro, lead researcher at Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, explains these burst-like swarms manifest as rapid sequences of small earthquakes, making individual events difficult to distinguish what triggers this frenetic shaking. High-resolution seismic imaging reveals a gas-rich reservoir sitting below 2 km depth, a deformed caprock layer between 1 and 2 km and basement rock below 3.5 kilometers. The interaction between the pressurized gas reservoir and the confining caprock drives the ground uplift. Pressure from below, resistance from above, and caught in between, a brittle shell of rock absorbing stress it was never designed to handle. In November 2025 alone, Campi Flegre produced 876 earthquakes, with a maximum magnitude of 3.3 of these. 750 events registered magnitudes below 1.0 or couldn't be measured due to low signal amplitude. The visible earthquakes are just the surface. Beneath them, Hundreds more fractures form in silence, invisible except to the most sensitive instruments. The geometry of what's happening beneath Pozzuoli defies every traditional volcanic model. For decades, 
Scientists expected circular fault patterns, the classic ring structures that mark caldera boundaries. But the cracks spreading across Campi Flegre aren't following that playbook. They're radiating outward, like spokes on a wheel, branching through neighborhoods, cutting across ancient Roman ruins, reaching toward the densely packed apartment blocks where half a million people sleep at night. The Stanford AI analysis revealed these radial fractures extending far beyond the traditional caldera rim. Each new crack is a potential escape route, not for people, for what lies beneath. Superheated water. Geophysicists mapping these fractures understand the mechanics. As pressure accumulates deep below, the crust doesn't yield predictably. It breaks along weak points, linking old faults with fresh ruptures creating a spider web of potential pathways that didn't exist five years ago at the port. Ferry services faced disruption as the harbor floor rose, reducing water depth and forcing vessels to adjust their docking procedures, nature. Boat owners check their moorings daily. What was deep enough yesterday might scrape the hull tomorrow. The uplift isn't uniform. Some areas rise faster than others, creating uneven stress patterns that civil engineers struggle to model. But here's what keeps volcanologists awake at night. Mm. Gas emissions from Pissirelli fumarole surged dramatically during the February swarm. Sulfur dioxide concentrations spiked well above recent averages. Thermal cameras detected new heat anomalies near the uplift zone. Patches of earth glowing hotter than anything recorded in the past year. Is this the fingerprint of rising magma? Or just another episode in a decades-long cycle of pressurized steam? The debate rages inside research labs. Some scientists point to Stanford's May 2025 findings, suggesting a geothermal reservoir under pressure, not magma, drives the unrest. Others argue the sudden gas bursts and thermal spikes indicate molten rock inching closer to the surface. Now let me ask you something. If you lived in Pozzuoli, if your children attended schools built on ground rising a centimeter every month, would you wait for scientists to agree on what's causing the unrest? Or would you prepare for the worst while hoping for the best? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. What would you do? The civil protection system maintains Campi Flegre at yellow alert, the elevated warning level that's been in place for years. Ash blanketed the Mediterranean. Pumice layers still surface in archaeological digs from Naples to distant coastlines. Some researchers argue the climate impact altered the course of early human migration across the continent. That same volcanic system sits beneath Pozzuoli today. The same forces, the same deep magma chambers, the same capacity for destruction on a scale that makes modern eruptions look trivial. Some buff Here's the question nobody wants to answer, but everyone's thinking. If Campi Flegre erupts tomorrow, could authorities evacuate 500,000 people through medieval streets in time to save lives? Think about your own city. Could half a million people leave in 15 minutes? Because that's how fast pyroclastic flows travel. Comment below if you think the current evacuation plans would actually work. The streets of Pozuali weren't designed for rapid escape. They wind through centuries-old neighborhoods where buildings lean into each other where alleys barely fit a single car, where every corner turns into a bottleneck the moment panic begins. Hmm. Every monitoring station surrounding Campi Flegre operates in a constant race against the volcano itself. Hey. Seismic sensors shatter during strong quakes, GPS stations get knocked out of alignment and gas analyzers corrode from sulfurous fumes. Technicians scramble to replace equipment faster than the caldera can destroy it. Fiber optic cables, meant to revolutionize real-time monitoring snap under sudden ground shifts before transmitting a full week of data. During the February swarm, half the southern sensor array went dark for hours. 
forcing scientists to reconstruct the crisis from incomplete records. Oh, with every equipment failure, blind spots multiply. Analysts stitch together partial signals, guessing at the true scale of what's unfolding below. The more stress the volcano absorbs, the harder it becomes to see what's coming next. Forecasting turns into a high-stakes puzzle where every missing data point could hide the first sign of something catastrophic. Ashfall would blanket the region. Roofs would collapse under the weight. Infrastructure would choke. In the most severe scenario, full caldera collapse could trigger local tsunamis in the Bay of Naples and inject enough sulfur into the atmosphere to cool global temperatures for years. These aren't distant hypotheticals, drawn from imagination. They're physics-based calculations, mapping minutes until impact and zones of total loss. So here's what I want to know from you. Which scenario terrifies you more? A sudden explosive eruption that gives minutes to escape? Or decades of slow destruction that forces families to abandon homes street by street, year by year? Tell me in the comments which future keeps you up at night. Inside emergency command centers, officials face impossible choices daily. 500,000 people live in the red zone, but nobody can predict if the next phase will unfold over weeks, months, or years. The truth about Campi Flegre isn't simple. Stanford's AI revealed four times more earthquakes than traditional monitoring detected. Over 700 quakes struck in just four days. This February, the ground continues, rising a centimeter every month. Gas emissions surge unpredictably. Fractures multiply in patterns never seen before. What happens next? We'll test how humanity prepares for uncertainty and how much risk we're willing to accept while living in the shadow of a restless giant. The volcano isn't asking permission. Hit that subscribe button right now. We're tracking every development at Campi Flegre as it unfolds, and you don't want to miss what comes next.